All right, welcome back to the channel. So uh, today we're going to take a look at the nesting of a solo stove inside a uh, GSI 1.1 liter uh, boiler. So this is quite a good option if you're not too worried about weight because the solo stove uh, light is not a very uh, light stove, <laughs> pun intended. So um, going with a stainless steel setup um, is not too uh, much of an issue, especially if you're just using this um, kind of on a day hike or in the backyard, or uh, you're planning to bring a car camping just to roast some marshmallows on the picnic table. So um, I do use that. That's kind of what I use it for. And um, the reason why I went with the solo stove instead of um, the original Bush Buddy was that I did, because of the way that I am using this, um, I did like the formed shell um, a little bit better than the original Bush Buddy, how it has the welded shell, because the, uh, the reason why it's heavier is just because they use a thicker gauge metal all the way around. So it is just more durable. And when I am using it with my um, kid, I do find that this will probably hold up better than the thinner metal that is on the original Bush Buddy. Um, the reason why I went out and ended up buying the Bush Buddy Mini is because that stove does come with the form shell. And that is something that I really enjoy and it does bring more... Uh, it does bring more durability to the stove. So going back to the solo stove, you can see here, it's basically the exact same size as the Bush Buddy original, but it is um, just a tad bit heavier and it has that formed shell. So, and yeah, you also don't have that really long wait time, which was one of the other reasons why I picked this up was because um, it just didn't have that long wait time that you had to wait in order for you to get that stove. Okay. So, um, yeah, just want to quickly show you um, how the nesting of the solo stove works. So we have our 1.1 liter GSI boiler. It's a little bit black here from the soot, but um, just take my word for it. It's the 1.1 liter GSI uh, boiler. Okay. So you can see holds 1,000 milliliters up to this line and up to the brim it is uh, that 1.1 liters. So in here, um, you are able to fit the um, solo stove. So it goes right up to that uh, 1000 milliliter line and you are able to put all of your other contraptions inside. Um, I keep a small uh, fire starter in there and the good thing about this pot that I do like about it versus any of the other pots is just um, when you push in on the handles and flip it over, it just kind of keeps everything in place so nothing will fall out. You can't you know, shake anything out of here. It just keeps everything nice and contained. Um, you definitely want to use a bag with this just because um, it is a, it is a uh, twig stove, so it does get quite sooty. So you definitely want to use a bag for this when you store this inside your backpack. So that is the nesting inside the 1.1 liter boiler. The other option that I think um, everyone, uh, all the viewers already know that fits is it, this will definitely fit inside the Snow Peak Trek 900. So here we go, Snow Peak Trek 900 and it does have quite a bit of uh, space for you to still put that lid on. So one thing um, that is good about this is you are able to fit quite a lot of uh, things inside your pot if you are going with this setup. Okay, so um, again, this is the nesting options for the uh, solo stove light. And this is uh, what I would say works the best because if you were to try to use something um, a little bit smaller like a MSR Titan kettle, it does not have the uh, required height for you to get it in there. You will kind of have to just have the lid sitting loosely on top and you'd have to go around like that. Um, you may be able to flip over the lid and have it sit inside, but um, inside the notch here, 
but it's still not a really good option. You're better off with one of these two other pots because like I said before, if you are going with the uh, solar stove light, you're not as worried about weight as if you were to go with something uh, lighter like a uh, Bush Buddy Mini. All right, so um, those are the nesting options and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you.